Oi loves, we back. And we have the seasonal trailer for the Jugdrill banner. So we're gonna go ahead and run it, see what they got. Now we already know who the units are, but we don't know what their weapons do and some of the skills. So that's hopefully where this trailer will be able to fix that. Okay, so we're starting things off with Lysithia, of course. Now, if I'm not mistaken, Lysithia had a perf A skill. So no telling how strong she's gonna be. She is a colorless flying type unit. So let's see. All right, what does that A skill actually do? All right, her stats are there. I believe we saw her stats already in the Fate channel, so I'm not gonna go over that right now. Okay, so Baked Treats, 14 Might, 2 Range, Cancel 1. Cancel 1 is good on a range unit like her. Okay, so we got minus 1 Special Trigger. At the start of turn, inflict Speed and Res minus 6 and Sabotage on the nearest foes within 5 spaces of unit and foes in 2 spaces of those foes through the next actions. Okay, that's really good. If unit initiates combat or is in 2 spaces of an ally, grants attack and speed up 6 to unit. Neutralizes effects that prevent units follow-up attacks and neutralizes foes bonuses to speed and res during combat. Okay That's pretty strong man So what do we got speed and res minus six sabotage sabotage is a really good status effect It's also tacked on to the level four snag speed and defense snag So her being able to do this in such a wide target range Closest enemies within five spaces and then foes within two spaces of those foes. That's basically going to hit like half of their team if not the whole team so quite effective there and then if she initiates she gets attack and speed of six she gets half and all follow-up and she nullifies speed and res bonuses so yeah pretty good of course her a skill is probably going to make it even better so mastermind here at the start of turn one deals one damage to unit if unit initiates combat or is in two spaces of an ally grants attack and speed up nine to unit during combat and deals damage equal to X plus Y. Oh boy, what is this, algebra? X is 80% of the highest total bonuses among unit and allies within two spaces. And then Y is 80% of the highest total penalties among target and foes within two spaces. That is dirty as hell, man. That's like... Okay, so 80% blade tome, 80% dominance. What the hell, bro? <laughs> Talk about damage. You think that's enough damage? Oh my god. All right, Desperation 4 also inflicts speed minus 4 on the enemy during combat. At the start of combat, if unit's HP is not full and unit initiates combat or the number of spaces from unit's starting position to ending position is greater than or equal to 2 and unit initiates combat, unit can make a follow-up attack before the foe can counterattack. Okay, that's... I was not expecting them to tack on a speed minus 4 there. That's just dirty. It didn't need stat drops, man. Just being able to instantly attack twice in a row is really strong. So the condition here, you got to be not on full HP, which is not too tough to do. Her A skill already does that, but for other units, you may want to give Desperation 4 to. There's always Winter Bernie and the Bunny Bernie, who just do chip damage to the whole team at the start of the fight. So some other ways you'd be able to take advantage of this. And then we have also Attack and Speed Oath 4, which is really nice. So, Lysithia passes the test here. Looks like a pretty bananas unit, honestly. 80% Blade Tome, 80% freaking dominance. With Desperation, with half and all follow-up, with nullifying speed and res bonuses. Like, come on, man. Offensive units now are just so powerful. Like, what's the point? <laughs> Why even bother baiting? Okay, the wonderful Suzuki Rika has drawn another Jugdrill Drip Boy here. We got Sigurd with his butler outfit, serving up some tea and cakes there. <laughs> Alright, that is the most British thing I've ever seen. Okay, Knightly Manor, 14 might, 2 range, minus 1 special trigger. At the start of combat, if unit's HP is over 25%, grants all stats of 5 to unit. Unit makes a guaranteed follow-up attack. And deals damage equal to 15% of units attack during combat. And also if the foe uses a sword, lance, axe, magic, staff, dragonstone, or beast damage, foe cannot counterattack. So, I mean, is that not every single weapon type? Let's see here. Swords, lances, axes, 
Magic, Staff, Dragonstone, and be So daggers and bows can still counterattack him, right? <laughs> I mean, what's the point? Why not just give him full-on fire sweep? Why allow bows and daggers to counterattack? <laughs> okay, sure. Okay, Chivalric Aura, two hit special here. Well, one hit, because he has minus one special trigger. At the start of turn, if unit's special cooldown count is at its maximum value, grant special cooldown count minus one to unit. Okay, I stand corrected. Zero hit cooldown. Boost special damage by 25% of unit's attack. After combat, if unit's special triggered, grants attack up six to unit and all allies for one turn, and unit and all allies can move one extra space. Alright, so it's kind of like Holy Knight Aura, except he doesn't get the plus one movement until he procs the special, which... I mean, fair is fair. There's no way they're going to allow this guy to move four spaces and attack from two spaces. So he would just have, like, permanent six reach if this worked like Holy Knight Aura. So at least they balanced it somewhat. It's <laughs> still very, very strong, though. Okay, we have Rem Remote Sturdy as his A skill. If he initiates combat, he gets attack up seven, defense up ten. And he also gets 30% DR on the enemy's first hit. Kind of... Pointless when he's already getting fire sweep here <laughs> against everything besides bows and daggers. <laughs> but oh, okay, sure. And then we have also seal res 4 to help him deal some more damage. Would have been a little nicer, I think, actually, if they gave him lull attack at res 4. But I, I guess it is what it is, whatever. We'll take seal res 4. <laughs> Attacking the enemies with T and crumpets there. Okay, next up we have our boy Ferdinand, who is unfortunately the demote. Although he's dressed pretty nicely there. Alright, so Ferdinand is a flying green tome type. So we got tea time set plus, 12 might, 2 range, enables Kanto 1. If unit initiates combat or is in two spaces of an ally, grants attack and speed up 5 to unit during combat. And also, if unit speed is better than the foe's speed, neutralizes effects that prevent unit's follow-up attacks during combat. It seems pretty reminiscent of the dagger we had on the Thief Banner last time. I think it was on Dagger Soth. He had a Kanto dagger that also did something similar to this. So, now we're getting it for Green Tomes, which I guess is fine, considering we don't have a rearmed Green Tome yet. Alright, Rally, Speed and Res Plus. We have Wind Sweep 3 and Speed and Res Rain 3. <laughs> Big demote energy, sadly. Although, whenever we get Wind Sweep 4, that'll be nice to use as early fodder. And we already have Speed and Res Hold. Okay, Moment of Truth. Here it is. So, everyone's been talking about this... I, I was about to call her Carla there. This Ira, right? So, Ira apparently has a no-hit special. No hit cooldown on her special. So, Sword Cavalry type. Of course, Ira with Mercedes. That's one of the most unlikely pairings I think I could have ever thought of. So, T times Edge. 16 Might, 1 range. Enables Kanto Distant plus 1 with a max of 4. I have no idea what that is. <laughs> I'm sure they're going to explain it in a second. So, minus 1 special trigger. At the start of combat, if unit's HP is over 25%, Grants attack and speed up X to unit, where X is 25% of the foe's attack at the start of combat, minus 2, with a minimum of 6. Okay. <laughs> Why not just attack and speed up 6? Oh, a max of 16. Okay, there we go. That, that's why. So it does have a cap on it. And also deals damage equal to 20% of unit's speed. Excluding when using AoE specials and neutralizes effects that inflict guard on unit during combat. Okay, so Kanto, Kanto Distant 1 or Distant Plus 1. After an attack, assist, or structure destruction, unit can move spaces equal to the number of spaces from starting position to ending position unit moved prior to taking action plus 1. Okay, so it's like kind of like the opposite of Kanto Rem a little bit. So let's say she moved two spaces before attacking, then she'd be able to cancel away three spaces. Or if she moved the full three, then she'd be able to cancel away four. Or if she only moves one space, she'll be able to cancel away two. So I, 
It makes more sense to have this the more spaces you're moving, but Cancel Rem could be better if you're attacking from closer. So if you move like one space, then Cancel Rem is probably better. <laughs> but if you're moving full distance, then this is better. And of course, you want to be taking advantage of the full movement there. So yeah, th this is really good. Supreme Astra, two-hit special. Boost damage by 40% of unit speed. At the start of turn, if unit special cooldown count is at its maximum value, grant special cooldown count minus one to unit. And after unit special triggers, grant special cooldown count minus one to unit once per turn. <laughs> okay, so it's times pulse four built into a special. And she's got minus one special trigger and she nullifies guards. So yeah, it's basically a permanent thing. And then we have attack and speed clash four. We're going to have more stuff. She has like this brand new desperation skill. All right, flow desperation. So inflict speed and defense minus four on the foe during combat. If unit initiates combat, neutralizes effects that prevent units follow up attacks during combat. And also if the number of spaces from units starting position to ending position is over two or units HP is below 75% at the start of combat, you can make a follow-up attack before the foe can counterattack. Okay, so what was even the point of releasing Desperation 4 then? <laughs> Isn't this just better? I mean, I guess the HP condition is a little bit better on that one. You gotta be not full where this is below 75%, but this has a alternate condition where if you move two or more spaces, then <laughs> you just get your desperation right there with no HP restriction and you do speed and defense minus four. Okay, this is definitely cavalry lock, man. There's no way they're giving this to other movement types. That's why desperation four is on the banner. And then we have red feud three as well. Okay. Yeah, th this is going to be pretty cracked on a lot of calves now. Oh my god. Imagine Summer Shez with that shit. She's effective against everything. <laughs> so, like, imagine her quadding with that. She just hits you four times in a row. Now she has half a null follow-up there, which she didn't have prior. Jesus Christ, dude. Oh, their duo skill, by the way. I forgot to read what it even did. Hold on. Okay, so harmonic skill for, of course, three houses and genealogy. Grants attack and speed up six, resonant blades, and unit can move one extra space to unit and allies from the same titles for one turn. And neutralizes any penalties on unit and allies from the same titles. Wow, that's... That is so strong, man. <laughs> oh my god. Plus one movement to all allies from three houses? Like, you think there's enough good three houses characters? And you can toss in three hopes as well, because they, for some reason, count as being from three houses. And then Genealogy also, man. Oh my god. Yeah, th this unit's pretty nuts. This is nuts. Wow, th this banner, holy shit. <laughs> yeah, they, they usually try to do this to divert people's orbs away from Choose Your Legends. So typically the banner prior to Choose Your Legends is going to be insane. <laughs> we saw that also last year on the Thief banner. My god, man. Am I summoning on this? I might. <laughs> I mean, th there's some very good reasons to summon here. And there we have Tail to you, who's going to be our Tempest Trial prize. Yeah, so let me know in the comments section what you guys think about this Tea Time banner. I've actually heard a lot of people also say that they love this theme so much that they want this to be the permanent theme for this time slot moving forward as opposed to doing like different stuff like thieves and pirates and what whatever other different assortment of banners they've tried out. I think a lot of people like this one the most. So let me know what you think about this theme for this type of banner and also... Are you going to be summoning, and who are you summoning for? Of course, we're going to be able to spark if you're summoning on the banners, so... I might decide to hop in. I might. There's definitely some good stuff here. So, that's going to wrap us up for this video, guys. We're also going to be getting the data mines tomorrow, which include the refines and remixes for a bunch of new Jugdral characters, and also Freya, and also Bra or Legendary Selif. So, should be interesting times. And I'll catch you guys again tomorrow when that happens.